Hey guys, I want to talk about something super important in this video that comes up sometimes, and that's using the inventory flat file to either upload your products in bulk, like upload, update your listings, things like that. Or like if you're having issue where, where Amazon is not updating your listing when you're trying to say update your title in the back end, which is the example I'm going to go and in, go into today. This is how you can quickly do it without having to go in and like delete your listing and wait 24 hours and all that kind of stuff. You can just use the flat file and it's all pretty easy. All right guys, so let's jump right in. Let me back up a step here and start at the beginning. So we got an email from Amazon, okay? got a message from Amazon in our case log here where they're basically telling us we need to upload a flat file, do a flat file update to basically make the changes we need to do. Okay, in this case, we were having trouble updating the title, so they recommended we do this. And the most important key here to remember, I just want to point out first, is just make sure you do a partial update when you're doing this. It's going to help you avoid um, wrecking your entire listing if you do a full update and you do something wrong. So if you're just doing a partial update, there's really not much harm you can do unless you actually fill in those specific things um, and, do the, and do the update. So, all right. So keeping these things in mind is kind of giving you an overview of the things you need to fill out along with the item you want to change. Um, and this is pretty much the sum of it. And I'm going to actually jump into the spreadsheet and show you this specifically really quickly what you need to do. It's not too complicated, but first let's go to where you actually get your flat file. Okay. So first thing you're going to do, so in this case, we're doing massage oils. So you actually go to, well, let's do, let's say massage lotions. That's probably the more accurate. Okay. So we're going to do this and to narrow it down a lot quicker so this can kind of get you closer a lot faster you can't go through the other search method where you kind of go through the tree either way you like and you get the the one that actually fits your category your product that's actually on your current listing that's the easiest way to look at it is go to your listing and look at your category there and that'll help you get through this part a lot quicker all right so once you get that select that let's say it's we're doing this one okay and we're scrolling down here it's for amazon.com and click generate template all this is fine all right so once you have that you're going to upload it into google sheets or excel i like to use google sheets okay and then you're going to fill these few things out these things right here this can be a little tricky um, if it doesn't work with the drop down um, you might have to go to valid values and look at the very simply right here, feed product type and grab it there, fill that in. All right. And go back to our template and you just paste that in. Same with the item type. If you don't know it, you can go right here, item type keyword, grab that, copy and paste it. If it doesn't, the drop down doesn't work. Okay, and you paste that in, paste in your SKU, paste in your brand name. In this case, we had issues with the item name or product name or title. So we had to put that in exactly what we wanted, the new title that we wanted to update to. And then also we wanted to do this last. We try to do this in the beginning. If you try to do this first, you may get some errors. So I would suggest doing this part last the ASIN um, product type ASIN, which they requested in the email. They actually said they wanted the ASIN for the ID type. So we changed that to ASIN and then we actually copied and pasted in the ASIN from our catalog. All right. So we did that last and it worked and we tried to do it at the beginning. It was a little tricky. It didn't want to do it. So just wait to do that last. And then of course, last but not least, go here. And put this in exactly how I have it here, partial update. If you forget, and again, you can go to the value, valid values. And just to remind yourself, 
but that's basically it. Just copy and paste it in exactly like that. You're fine. Nothing else to fill out unless you actually needed other things. You were, ever, you were having trouble getting other things to change. So in that case, if it was images, um, if it was the key features, things like that, so or even search terms, anything like that you were having trouble updating, you can do that. Once you have that, you're going to just gonna, gonna do a file to download it as an Excel. All right, so once you do that, you go back to here. You're going to upload inventory file. They've made this a lot more simple. It used to be a little more complex. Browse files, let that upload, and make sure you have the Excel format selected, and hit upload file. Then you just wait and should be good to go as long as you didn't have any mistakes. All right, guys, hopefully that helped you out. Definitely leave a comment down below if you have any questions on this or any problems. I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as possible and answer those. Also, if you're on Amazon, you're probably doing PPC. And so I highly recommend you check out the link we have down in the description below. Um, it's basically a top 10 list of the most important things you need to be doing with your PPC on Amazon to make sure you have success. All right, so definitely check that out. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next one.